Direct here today to do a review video of the Pride Mobility Jassy Passport Folding Power Wheelchair. This is model FJPT1700 and this model holds up to 250 pounds. It's a pretty solid weight capacity for a folding power wheelchair. And obviously one of the key features is the fact that it can fold up really easily. I want to show you how that's done right away. In the back here, there's two clips. These are tension clips which need to be pressed together. So I'm going to take my pointer finger and my thumb, push them together. At the same time while holding them together, I'm going to push the front of the seat forward. And just like that, the unit folds up. At this point, it's pretty transportable. It weighs about 57 pounds with the battery. The battery weighs seven pounds. So if you take the battery out, it's going to save you a little bit of weight. You can pretty much put this in the trunk of most sedans, definitely SUVs and trucks. I'm going to show you now a couple of the features. Let's go ahead and unfold it. To do that, you want to lay it back down. Wheeling it around is, is done while it's standing up. But if you want to unfold it, you have to lay it back down and compress the two clips while pulling the seat up. Now, it might be a little stuck. You have to give it a firm press. But once the clips release, you can unfold it back into the unfolded position. The chair comes with two armrests. You can mount the joystick on the right or the left very easily by simply untightening this bicycle style clamp, loosening it, sliding the joystick out, disconnecting the cable, and moving it to the right side. It is flip up on both sides, so you do have the option to get the armrests out of the way. Comes with a seat belt. The chair is padded and very comfortable. I can tell you personally, this is a very comfortable chair for a folding power wheelchair. Comes with a complimentary arm uh, rest cup holder. It's an OEM cup holder. It's not aftermarket. It's designed to work with this railing system, the same type of railing system that's used for the joystick. Now there is a nice little feature on the joystick here on the mount. If you push that button down, you can actually control the position a little bit more. And you can also rotate it when you loosen up that bicycle style clamp that I showed you earlier. So in terms of positions, you can really control the position of that joystick, giving the user the most comfortable setup that they could ask for. Also on the foot rest, it does flip up and down, the foot plate rather, and there's a little storage basket here, a mesh basket that you can zip up and keep your belongings in safely. Another feature is the battery. It's very easy to take out, very manageable battery. I'll show you underneath how to do that. There's a handle for the battery, it's right here. To take it out, there's a little button here, which you can see I'm pushing up and down. That is basically gonna be the one button that's holding the battery in, so if you push it up and pull out, it slides right out. And here's the battery. The battery has an XLR charging port, like most power wheelchairs and mobility scooters. You just stick the charger in there, and the other end of the charger plugs into your household electrical outlet. If you are gonna store the battery for a little while, just cover it up. These batteries need to be kept charged. Um, it's a best practice if you're going away for a long time to keep it fully charged and maybe go in once a month if you can and top it off. But basically putting it back in is done the same way. You push that button up. There are two rails here, the slots for these mounting rails. So basically I'm gonna slide these two rails in the slots right there first get it positioned, and then slide it all the way back until that button pushes down. And we're good to go. The joystick is just like every other power chair. And we're gonna show you here. You've got the power button, turn it on, it's ready to go. That's the horn. Left and right is the speed control. Right now it's on the slowest setting. You can move it up to medium, go forward, it goes forward, go back, it goes back. It is throttle sensitive. 
So if I push this joystick very slightly, it'll crawl very slowly. If I go all the way, it goes quick. It's a throttle sensitive joystick. Again, it comes with the seat belts, the anti-tip wheels, comes with the charger. I do want to mention that the, um, the locking mechanism for the brakes, they actually do not work. Um, I'm not sure why the manufacturing process uh, put this switch here, but they're not actually um, going to work. If you put it into freewheel mode, it's really hard to push the scooter. That's the one thing about it. But if, as long as your battery is working, you can move it just fine with the motor. Um, but for some reason, putting it into freewheel mode to push it manually without the batteries is just really not feasible. It's not easy to do with this model. It does have nice solid tires. And if you want to see how the, um, the switch works, I will show you for demonstration purposes. If you unlock the brakes, it's going to give you an error code. The error code is simply telling you that the, the brake is not engaged. And in order to stop that, you would have to turn it off, put the brake back into the drive mode on both sides. It has to be in drive mode and then repower your, your device. It's going to work fine. All right, so just to recap, if you're looking for a folding power wheelchair that's easy to use, convenient, can hold up to 250 pounds, this is a great option. The Passport comes with some battery options. You have two options for the batteries. You can get a 10 point, uh, 10 and a half amp hour roughly battery that's TSA approved and travel friendly, or you can get the 18 amp hour battery, which is gonna give you an extended battery life and let you go a little bit further. Uh, with the extended battery range, you get up to 11 miles, and with the standard 10.4 amp hour battery that's travel friendly, you can get up to about seven miles, depending on the weight of the user. So the chair, pretty wide, it's about 17 inches, very comfortable, like I said. If you want to learn more about the Jazzy Passport, I encourage you to visit our website, mobilityscootersdirect.com. We offer this product for sale at the lowest price guarantee, free shipping, and tax-free like always. I'm Sergio. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.